Under a blue February sky at a church in Detroit, best known as St. Cecilia's. The pews were filled, few eyes were dry, and as the sun shined through those stained glass windows, the life of Earl Curitan was celebrated. You go through life, and you have one good friend, you have the best life. Few people loved St. C's and the city of Detroit in the way Earl the Twirl did. Along with an incredible legacy, Earl Curitan leaves behind his family, Judith and Sari. I am haunted by the thought that one day I will have lived longer without him than with him. That's not to forget his basketball family as well, those in the piston circle like Arn Tellum and Isaiah Thomas. I think we're all in mourning. Uh, so. It's incredible what you said, and, and hopefully I think we all leave here inspired. In reaching far beyond Detroit to NBA greats like Muggsy Bogues. What do you think will be missed most about him in Detroit? His generosity. You know, Earl, you could pick up the phone and call him, and he was going to be there regardless of the situation. The stories told brought laughter. And there's a picture of Earl playing against the Boston Celtics right in front of us. We're getting ready to start the ceremony. Ricky taps on his shoulder, turned around and goes, you know he didn't make that basket. <laughs> so, uh, and sorry. brought tears. I'm sorry that I can't be a little more uplifted and say some funny things about Earl because it's too fresh, it's too new. But one thing rang as clear as that blue February sky. He represented Detroit like no other. He gave to the city, he gave to the community. He taught me how to love Detroit. Earl Curitan's commitment to Detroit, on and off the court, will span far longer than his 66 full years of life. And at the service today, it was revealed that there are plans to rename Stern Street in honor of Earl Curitan and his support of St. Celia's. Stern Street is the one that runs in between St. C's Church and, of course, the infamous and beloved St. C's Basketball Gym. Beautiful tribute. Thank you, Gina.